Rainbow flags, loud music, close roads, chill vibe, and happy strangers. Roughly 4 million people were at Fifth Avenue to watch beautiful floats filled with unicorns and rainbows. Thousands of marchers gave away some merch with hashtags NYC Pride. Lots of people got involved politicians, celebrities, popular brands, nonprofit organizations, and the like. Everybody was in full swing in the celebration of the diversity of the LGBTQ community, geared up in their fabulous costumes, glitters, makeup, and everything nice. The theme was defiantly different. Strong words with nice descriptions. It reminded me that we should be proud and celebrate our individuality and differences no matter who we are. NYC Pride March is one of the largest annual Pride Marches in the world. Attracting tens of thousands of participants and millions of sidewalk spectators, it's June. The route of the Pride March through Lower Manhattan traverses south on 5th Avenue through Greenwich Village, passing the Stonewall National Monument, the site of the June 1969 riots that launched the modern movement for LGBTQ rights. According to Britannica Encyclopedia, the 1969 Stone Riots, also called Stonewall Uprising, is a series of violent confrontations that began in the early hours of June 28, 1969 between police and gay rights activists outside a Stonewall Inn, a gay bar in the Greenwich Village section of New York City. As the riots progress, an international gay rights movement was born. Let me tell you a short story of the Stonewall Riots. In the early morning hours of Saturday, June 28, 1969, nine policemen entered the Stonewall Inn, arrested the employees for selling alcohol without a license, rough up many of its patrons, cleared the bar, and arrest anyone not wearing at least three articles of gender-appropriate clothing. They took several people into custody. It was the third such raid on Greenwich Village gay bars in a short period. This time, the people milling outside a bar did not retreat or scatter as they almost had in the past. Their anger was apparent and vocal as they watched the bar patrons being forced into a police van. They began to jeer at and jostle the police and then threw bottles and debris. Accustomed to more passive behavior, even from larger gay groups, the policemen called for reinforcements and barricaded themselves inside a bar while some 400 people rioted. The police barricade was repeatedly breached, and the bar was set on fire. Police reinforcements arrived in time to extinguish the flames, and they eventually dispersed the crowd. Many historians characterize the uprising as a spontaneous protest against the perpetual police harassment and social discrimination suffered by a variety of social minorities in the 1960s. Stonewall soon became a symbol of resistance to social and political discrimination that would inspire solidarity among homosexual groups for decades. Although the Stonewall riots cannot be said to have initiated the gay rights movements as such, it did serve as a catalyst for a new generation of political activism. A couple years ago, I joined the NYC Pride March led by the tennis legend Billie Jean King and the transgender advocate Tyler Ford. It was a celebration and a protest against anti-LGBT policies promoted by Donald Trump. Thousands of marchers in a rainbow outfit joined the gay movement to remove sexual or gender discrimination. Everybody were making a statement. I saw some people carrying slogans with phrases like Born this way, black and brown and trans lives matter, and no more guns. I believe that everybody wants to feel accepted and welcome no matter what they identify as. Religion, race, gender, everything. My friend and I went up to a street vendor and bought a rainbow scarf as a souvenir. I asked the vendor, Business good, yeah? She smiled and said, Pride March was good for business. 
She has a belt bag filled with cash. She showed it to me and she said, Mucho dinero. <laughs> we walk up to the 5th Avenue and look for a spot where we could get a good view of the floats. We were fortunate enough to be up front and close to the police, so I was able to take a few photographs. The pictures I took got a thousand likes on my Instagram account. However, due to exposed breasts or nipples, Instagram took it down. I should have covered it up with a sticker. <laughs> oh well. As a first time visitor of New York City LGBT Pride March, I can honestly say that it's delightful to see everybody's love and support for the LGBT community. The message was loud and clear. Love is all we need. It's nice to see queer couples out in this world in this magical city. This celebration is probably the coolest parade I've ever witnessed. Coming out at any age can be awkward and scary. It's just not easy. Being true to yourself and to people around you is bold and courageous. There's no need to pretend because the people who truly love you will accept you no matter what. Take the time to consider your own personal circumstances. Once you made the decision to tell people close to you that you are a lesbian, gay, or bisexual. Your safety and well-being should always come first. Don't forget to reach out if you need help. There's a bunch of LGBT community organizations you can talk to for extra support. Check them out in the description box down below. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.